how do they differ then from in terms of their investment philosophy to an institution? Can you can you describe them as being similar in investment strategy to, to institutions? Um, I think they're usually very different because one, they have the ability and part of their portfolio to be very active and have direct control where most institutions go through fund managers or maybe a co-investment group of some type where the family could go direct if they want to and own an asset and just work with a property manager. Most institutions don't do that. Uh, family offices could be more patient than most institutions. If something's not working out, uh, as long as the principal believes in it, then they don't have to worry about getting fired. The CIO at an endowment fund can always get fired. Even the president of the university could get fired over the endowment fund going poorly. With the principal, it's his own money. It's never their own money at an institution. You're always on the block to get fired. Uh, so you want to do very conservative things and follow the herd. Family offices want to be in front of the herd and they want to sell into the herd and buy the straggler who couldn't keep up with the herd or get ahead of it. So family offices can be more agile or more patient and they can't be fired by themselves. The CIO could, but the principal can't. And I think that many times they like to be more creative in their structures, like a joint venture or getting in on a deal on superior terms because they can help strategically on the deal. So I think they're more, more entrepreneurial for sure. Thank you.